<laughs> Episode 7. You guys stopped at the village, did village things, and then you moved right back on south to Glassgate. Glasgow? What? Mm -hmm. Close enough. We're in Scotland? Shit, that's even worse. Don't overthink it. <laughs> so. We went to bed, wake up in the morning. What are your intentions? What are you trying to do? Breakfast, stretching, um, probably a good cup of coffee, and then we'll figure out what we're actually going to do, I think. Okay. You got to talk with the rest of the party to figure that out. <laughs> Wait, are we in the no, um, town? There we go. Or are we you, back at the crystals? Crystals. Oh, oh, okay. You're in you're in the town that was like flattened with that like formation with adamantine in the center. Gotcha. This place. Um, I'm gonna ask the group. Do do we know what's south of us, or do we know what's west of us? Destination. That's where I have, I have to no go. <laughs> Or we have to go, as I look down at Alfred. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds like a big fat no. Interesting. Just that we are going that way. See, it sounds like an adventure is what it sounds like. So I think we should just start going. Yeah. Walk. I don't know how many weeks away our uh, destination is. And we've only got a couple weeks left. So that's where I want to head. So yeah, let's do it. Alfred lets you know that you're pretty close to the, I believe, longitude is horizontal. You're pretty close to the longitude of where you need to be. No, okay. longitude is the... Is vertical? Vertical, because latitude is like ladders. Latitude. You are very close to the latitude of... Whatever is the horizontal one, you're close to that. We're doing this, not this yet. Correct. Correct. Awesome sauce. I think. Um, Not sure. You're you're within a hundred. You're within a hundred miles. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're close. When I wake we have... up, and I know I'm gonna be. <laughs> I mean, is there is there anything in this town to explore that's left building wise? Like how much time? To poke around. How much time do you want to spend here? To find that out. Uh, well, not very long, considering those giant things flew over when we were here. So, I mean, maybe an hour. Okay, give me a search. Is it big enough to wait to, to justify an hour? Like, I actually don't know the size of this town, so could it not be like it a It looks larger scan? than the other tiny town we were in. Yeah, it was. Okay. There are... Very well. There are at least a dozen, dozen buildings. Got a dead ten. <laughs> um, you find mostly empty, dusty. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, like basements. Like the the foundations of a lot of these buildings are still there. Um, okay. often filled with like the ruins of whatever was built on top of them. Um, or sand. Uh, you really don't find a whole lot of anything of interest. Um, you could find a few mundane items if you're like specifically looking for anything. You could probably find a couple, but other than that, not really anything. Heard. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted to know if there was like. Yeah. No. Anything worth looking at? So. Cool. No, nope, not really. Not even coins. Looks like it's been picked through for the most part. Well then, let's uh, go. Cool. So. I, once my internet comes back, um, I would like you all to move over to the homebrew house rules page. And if you haven't already, open up that Google Doc. So this is, these are the mechanics of going through the wilderness and having to camp on the way because you have no idea how long there is until there's a city or a town. There are no roads that you're going on. You are in the middle of fucking nowhere. On a plane you're not even native to. Um, 
Um, no. So if you go into Discord, in the channels, it's the Palm Tree Homebrew. Oh. The latest one is a Google Doc. Open that up. The first column on the first page is the most important part. Are we in Tifa HQ? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're in Tifa HQ, baby. Um, go ahead and log in. Yeah. I think you and can share. share password for your chat. Um, so each day is split up into six parts. Morning, day, day, evening, night, night. Cool? I love this. So you, hell yeah, this is very old school. Um, during this day, you can choose to hike. If you hike, everyone needs to hike to stay in a group. You really shouldn't be leaving people behind because you could be leaving people behind for a, a great, great distance, four hours at a time. One person is going to lead the way and kind of be in charge of the direction the party takes. If you guys are not hiking, you can forage, hunt, fish, or find water in case you run out of food or water. Other than that, you can explore and scout around in the area that you're in. Uh, you can keep watch, whether that is while you're hiking, while you're staying put in an area, or while you're setting up camp or sleeping. And then making camp takes a large chunk of time. And there are potential problems if you don't set up camp well or if you pick a bad spot or whatever, right? And then you sleep as normal. All the rest of the stuff we'll get to when it comes up. Sound good? Okie dokie. Awesome. So, you wake up. We are in the morning. I assume you all want to go west. Into the west. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So you are all going to hike. You can cover about four miles since this is, for the most part, just open terrain. Um, can you describe to me the direction you want to leave from this city? The red lines on the map are roads, the darker blue ones are rivers. Uh, probably stick into the road. As best as possible. Road out west? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And while it's going west, at least, let's follow it. Great. <laughs> Who is going to lead the way? As the resident scout, I volunteer. Awesome. Do it up. Okay. So you go down to lead the way? Yep, give me a survival check. Right, you have to be good at survival. Ah, this changes things. Oh no, I'm good. Never mind. Okay, not the red dice. We're rolling the blue dice this time, because <laughs> I remember. Yeah, the blue ones did you dirty. I got a 19 total. Killed, killed it. You guys make extra fast time through the cores wood. So you enter. Yeah. Nope. It's clear. Oh, okay. So. You guys make your way through. The road ends partway into this crystal forest. Does it end at anything in particular, or is it just kind of like a... It peters a out. Okay. Like, it goes from, like, stones placed to dirt to dwindling dirt to... We're just in the forest now. Heard. For the record, this is still morning one. Or this is still morning, right? Uh, we, are, we are now at day. Next turn, we are at day. It is 9 a.m. It's 9 a.m. Okay. You want to um, hike again? Yeah. We should probably be careful, but it's we might as well push on, you know? If at least careful. Yeah. But where do we want to go? Do we want to go more straight west now? Or do we want to maybe, like, do we want to kind of, because the road peters off here, so that could mean, like, that could mean that there is a connection somewhere that's been either washed away or hasn't been traveled in a while, or, like, what are we thinking? Um, is there a specific direction that it peters out in, or is it just, like... Scattered? It peters out going, like, south-southwest, if that makes sense. Continue going in the same direction for a while until they, like, pick up. 
So it's probably worth trying to just like head that way. And then if we run into something cool, if we don't, we're at least headed in the right direction, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. And by, like, that way, you mean, like, just straight west? Like, I following where the trail was heading, because if something got west. washed out, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, if gotcha. If got washed out, we'd probably hit into the other side where it wasn't washed out also. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. In the wrong direction, though. Mm. I mean, but as like, long as we don't venture too far off, I'm down, so. Yeah, long term, I don't think it's going to be southwest for a while. The road probably curved this way for a reason to get around something. So, like, right. if we find that we're like, okay, there's obviously no road in, like, five miles, we probably want to be heading northwest, right? Yeah. All right, that makes sense. I think we should do that. Okay, which direction are you going? South, southwest. So just following following the, the tangent of the road? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're all hiking. Who is leading? And is anyone looking out? I would like to look out. All right, give me a spot. Uh, whoever is leading, whoever is leading, give me a survival. Is that me again? Yes, if you would like it to be. If, and if no one objects, then I'll roll for it. No worries. Again, 18. Or 19. 19, rather. Awesome. Killing it. You're very confident in the direction you're going. Uh, yeah, you guys pop back out. Um, as you pop out, you see a nice, large... And, like, large, I mean, like, about 40 to 50 spread out in, like, three football fields in every direction of those, like, heavily plated dinosaur-looking things that you saw in the caravan. You've seen them kind of wander around out here like buffalo... Definitely not buffalo. Definitely look a lot grosser. They're not cute like buffalo might be. Uh -huh. um, but they are right here. Um, and it opens up to plains uh, that you're somewhat familiar with. But these are very arid plains, very flat. Um, and they go all the way up to the foot of a very big, massive mountain range. Uh, I vote we stay in this crystal forest as long as we can. It's been a pretty decent safe haven so far. And venturing into a giant plane with giant flying things all around has not been working out for us so well. So Did that's my, my vote cast. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want to follow the edge around, that's cool, but like, these crystals serve as both a warning sign for us, and they've seemed... Relatively safe for our travel so far, so. Yeah, I, I agree. I think following the um, the crystal path or being at the edge is probably great. Because if this plane is anything like the planes in Valheim, I do not want to go in them right now. No, yeah, no, not sure. yet. Hard <laughs> no. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. You guys are just following the, the tree line, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, you come across a river. Um, and then the river quickly turns to a bay. Uh, you can just see, just see the other side. Uh, there's land over there somewhere, but you can just see it. Um, and then both, both kind of run parallel further down south, or you can go out east where it continues further. Yeah, go around the bay. Yeah. Right. Hold on, really. hmm? That would be a third hike, right? Yes. So you have we need to take a break. You have spent eight hours marching. Um, it is now evening. The sun will begin to set. What, what will you guys like to do for this chunk of the day? One of you can set up camp. Uh, one of you can keep watch. Make sure nothing sneaks up on you. Um, several of you can go forage, hunt, fish, find water. Several of you can go kind of explore the local area around you. Um, or you can just kind of take a short rest. 
Uh, you can also assist people exploring or hunting, etc. But not making camp. Uh, I was gonna create water, like cast create water to fill up everybody's stores back to full. Because we've probably been using those all day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was gonna go forage in the water. How much food do we have? Edibles. Like, that's one thing I don't know. Like, how much food do we actually have as a party right now? They bought, I believe... 10 days worth of rations. I don't yeah. know how many rations we used to get out to the city again. Um, you spent was... you spent four days. Four days. Okay. So this is so have... day five. Gotcha. So here's a dumb question. Would quality of food matter? Because rations does not sound as good as freshly caught friggin' mutant crystal trout. Right, and if we can <laughs> save a ration for a rainy day, too, it probably helps. So if They're dry. They don't go bad. Right. So Preservatives. Sodium. Great. <laughs> Alfred and I will start setting up camp, since I'm carrying the tent with me, and we'll start setting up that portion, I guess. Cool. You want to roll me a survival? Sure. Uh, Theo will set up the fire, so that whatever's caught can be cooked. Slash fire awesome yeah and uh be on watch as well uh yeah just after you set up the fire get ready to maybe fire other things just in case so do you want to roll me a spot for you if you want to do that yeah. what are the rest of you up to grok is gonna scout down the river down the, the southern side of the water sure give me a spot and a listen craig um i'm probably just gonna uh like keep a lookout like along with Thea. Okay. Give me a spot. Thea rolled a six. Okay. And I'm rolling bad today. I got an eleven for my survival. Awesome. Can you roll me a D six and a D six and remember the order that you rolled them in? Yeah, give me a sec. Grok got an eighteen for spot and a seventeen for listen. Blue dice, okay. Man, the blue dice. Um, Grok, you, after hearing that bird attack you guys, that like peregrine uh, pterodactyl thing, um, you hear that like screeching you heard on the other side of these planes, and the screeching's familiar to when you dealt with that thing last. So these things are native to this area, this area specifically, and you can deduce that they probably hunt along these plains. Um, if you would like to dig into that any further, you can. I will dig into that a little further. Give me an intelligence check. Oh no. Um, oh baby. Wait, where's my <laughs> modifier? 21. Oh hell yeah. Um... They are native to these places, and probably setting off a bunch of sounds that that are very similar and analogous and kind of mimic their way of hunting would attract them to that area. Very similar to what Jugus was doing to break the crystals, you may attract a bunch of those in time. You're just kind of putting a bunch of pieces together that you've seen over the last few days. Um, Zach, what'd you roll for your, your 66? Two fives. Two fives? 55? Yes. Yep. Uh, all right. You love to hear it. Uh, what are the rest? Uh, anyone else who I asked for a roll, what'd you roll? I got a 13 for a spot check. Keep in watch? Yep. Um, the group of big dinosaur things to seem to be moving away towards the river uh, as the sun goes down. Uh, you also hear some of this, like, howl in the wind. Um, but you don't really think much of it. Sabina, what'd you roll? I rolled a six. Same thing. Cool. Is there anyone... To roll to forage? Yes. Roll me a survival. What are you looking for? Food? Um, Are you hunting or foraging? Uh, I'm looking for food within the water, if I can find fishing, some, basically. Plant life and cool, but sure. If roll. not, then I'm hunting. Roll me a survival. Uh, I think that's fifty survival, right? 
Okay. Yeah, 50. Um, are you harpoon fishing? If you were to see a, a large, tasty fish? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you're, like, kind of scraping up bits off of, like, tide pools and kind of that kind of thing. Shallow waters. Yeah, you find um, you find a large enough fish that could feed three when cooked, um, and you could find whatever kind of seaweeds or something you want to scrape up that's like in shallow, easy reach. You could totally find that. Um, so, whatever whatever you have planned, work with that. Um, Zach on a fifty-five. Um. You hear a low rumble in the distance. It's my stomach. You got a weird feeling about this. Alfred's looking at you with a, a very clammy look. Kind of looks like he's seen a ghost. It's about 9 p.m. now. Sun's just setting. It's about to get dark. You muted. Classic. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm going to grab Cherry and... Uh, do I know which way the sound came from? Like, uh, Not north. Not north. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights around the camp. Okay. Because I can do that. Um, and hope, do I see anything? Uh, give me a spot. Uh, those who are looking out, uh, you begin to hear this low rumble too, as you're watching. Um, I got a 17. Hoofs, probably. Dozens, dozens and dozens of them. Okay, well, I turn and tell them, hey, we got some stuff coming this way. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like a stampede, maybe? Hoofs. <laughs> dozens and dozens of them. <laughs> we have a tent, you know. They're probably gonna run through the tent. Um, if we can get some sort of cover that they can't run through, that well, I mean, we're backed up against the crystals. We can get in there as best as possible. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we're close, enough. let's just go in, in the crystals. All right. So you guys. Are you guys abandoning camp? Are you packing up as much as you can and then leaving? What What are you doing? Packing up as much as we can and then leaving. Well, where are we heading? Are we because well, we're not falling south? We not totally yet. Can't right now until we we have a bit more information, we need to move a bit safer. So we'd have to go. I would say deeper into the crystal forest, a bit north. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. The crystal forest would be safer. Like, you don't have to go super far, just far enough that we're out of the main, like, I guess, area of the crystal forest, or of the plains, rather. Like, so we're, we're more... Because we, we want to go to watch the plains. I think we should still have an we eye on the plains, because we have to the go water in the plains, which, in all hindsight, is their water source. Right. So, okay. Whatever we can salvage on our way back down, we'll try and do that. But for now, I guess... Whoever is the most confident, give give me a search. I'm rolling like shit, so I'm out. <laughs> I'm confident as shit. I'm confident. One person. One person. Can we? Can somebody assist them? Yes. Oh okay. yeah. I will let w one person assist. So you get to roll twice and take the better one. Okay. I give bonuses to assisting because I'm a Ken crew. So you get plus one to whatever the better roll is. Was that it? Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's it's a plus three for yours, but I'm going to say advantage and then plus one on top of that. That sounds uh, good. Yeah. What is it? 18. Cool. 
yeah, you guys get things uh, brought up as you see just a wall of these dinosaur things. Uh, kind of charging towards you, kind of kind of not. It seems like a big wave of them is just kind of like making their way as they approach this crystal forest and are like trying to divert course as they go by. Um, you get probably a good few hundred feet inside the crystal forest just so you stay like way away from them. Um, that is going to spend the rest of this chunk of the day. Um, it is now going to be 9 p.m. Um, right. If you're going to set up camp, you're only going to be able to start sleeping at 1 a.m. Can I mean break out your knapsacks? Call it good. Does it look like okay weather? It does. Clouds move in, but it doesn't feel like rain. None of your knees are aching. I'm going to take out the tiny hut. Okay. Why not? Nice and quick. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm a survivalist. I just need my bedroll and like... Do you want to roll me a survival, Jirgay? Sure. No, I'm Not a princess one. in my bed. You can't survive. 17. Okay. Yeah, you roll out. You find a nice little spot. You roll out the hut. The dates are fresh. The fire is started. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to change these dates to saltwater taffies just because it fits your character better. <laughs> sure. Okay. okay. That's much nice. clams. Yeah, it's a different color each time. It's an oyster shucking bar. Oh, gross. That would be so good. Shuck your own oysters, come on. Disgusting. <laughs> so Alright. Yeah, you guys get set up. Uh, what are the rest of you up to? Is anyone taking watch, or are you all just getting in and going to bed? I'll be on watch. Okay. Or first, first watch, or however many there are now. So. so, between the seven of you, you can all split off an hour and roll each by taking an hour shift and all being able to sleep through the night and get a full night's rest through through two periods of the night or a night in the morning I'm about it. all right Sounds good. Y'all roll. all of you roll me a spot or a listen whichever you're more confident in <laughs> should we not like shouldn't this be done like hour by hour or no uh, yeah, I mean, all of you rolling once is each hour. Are we sh we're sharing the glasses like usual, right? We're doing the thing so we can, like, keep getting our advantage on our spots. Oh, the... Oh, sure. In between yeah. shifts, pass it off. Rock, I think... gives the goggles. Okay. One. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was a Much better. <laughs> uh, well, that didn't do me any good, but, you know. Better. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's the same. Okay. Uh, that's better. 22 <laughs> on a listen. Okay. 22 on a spot. Okay. 22 on a spot. Okay. 22 on a listen. Okay. Jesus. Hey, you heard those hooves? Then there's griffins and stuff. We're all like on edge, so we're all being very careful. Craig? Craig, Craig is just like. Craig, what'd you roll? I got an 18 on a spot. On a spot? That's not bad. Uh, Cheville? 18? Jesus, guys. So we have all 22s and 18s? Nice. Alright. Um, no, you're good. Um, Grok, partway through your shift, you see that a, uh, a small burrowing squirrel is the best way you could describe it. Um, kind of digs out of the ground, sniffs around some of the bags. You kind of like turn around to hear it like shuffling in one of the bags, and you see it's like back half, big tail like fluttering as it's going through one of your guys' bags. Um, you kind of pull it out, and you see that it's like kind of nibbling on some of your guys' rations. I'll beat him up. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> now I can be the survivalist. Or I can be 
No, you know what, survivalist. I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. Take a bow shot. <laughs> yeah, you've got. Yeah, you've got like uh, at least half a day's worth of food, worth of protein right there. Again, you know, if, if we're in the middle of the wilderness, sure. The habitation, I'd have a pet. However, I'm now missing food. Therefore. Yeah. Truth. Squirrels a delicacy from from where you're from. Um. Especially if it's not garbage flavored, because the city squirrels just aren't the same, you know? Um, the rest of you hear some weird creak creaks, um, some of you hear, uh, very distant, like, birds calling, uh, almost like a big flock of geese going by, but instead of, like, geese honks, it's, like, normal bird calls. Hmm. Um, but that's, and, and then you hear, like, some, some movement within the waters as well, like some things flapping around, fins coming out of the water, slapping back into the water, that kind of a deal. But nothing comes immediately close to you other than that little critter. Did you get him? <laughs> Mouthful. What? Alright, it's the morning. La Basarita Stovikla. La For those who aren't moving in, it's a good morning camp. Yeah. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good mor Good morning, cult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you guys up to? What's the plan? Morning cult prayers. Okay. Fair. <laughs> um. What are the rest of you doing as the others kind of get ready for their day? Those non-caster types. Um. Morning. Morning. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like. It's, it's day morning. morning. It's nine a.m. It's day morning. Oh, day morning. Okay. Um. How far away is like the camp that we attempted to set up and failed that got possibly trampled? <sighs> like a quarter's day travel. You can get there pretty quick. Uh, if you spend a whole day traveling, you can go way past it. I mean, I think we're heading maybe back down or around. Or are we going to try and go... What are we doing? Are we just going to stick with going down around? Yeah. I'd say the south sounds the best. We don't know if there's a landmass to the north. Okay. Well, if we're already making our way that way anyway, then... On our way back through, I want to see if we can salvage whatever didn't get trampled. <laughs> can we fly somebody to see what a good direction would be? Sure. I think like a bunch of us have fly, so. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna spend eighth level. Trying also to hide out our tracks. You're covering your tracks. Just, just quickly. It's sure. not gonna sure. be a great jump because we gotta move, but like. Sure, sure, sure. You could totally spend an hour, an hour doing that, just kind of shuffling them up. Clearing sure. camp. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll cast fly on myself, take the glasses, and look around. And go up. I can't see without my glasses. Oh, my um, you are going to spend the rest of this part of the day doing your flying up, scouting, coming back down. Are you okay with that? What? Uh, um, Just since we're in se minutes. but we're in really large turn sections. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, other people do something then. Right. So, <laughs> otherwise, it's a waste. Jugas is going to fly up and scout around, do the explore or the scouting, just to see what's going on around in the, the macro. What are the rest of you up to as he does this and comes back down to tell you about it? Would we like to salvage camp that we have before? Would we make it not turn? Sure. Yeah, you guys can all go to that area and then Jugas can fly up. Totally. Sounds awesome. awesome. Um, do any of the rest of you want to do anything outside of salvaging the camp? Is there anything to blow up? Maybe. You can explore around looking for things to blow up. This is tempting to fear. <laughs> Finds the nearest hole in the ground, shoots a fireball down it. <laughs> Alright, let's go! <laughs> I got it out. Worm comes out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turns out that's just a baby purple worm and we're all dead. <laughs> we don't need those ideas around here. 
<laughs> um, are there any like potions anyone wants to wants made? Because I think my oh, time. If... Kind of okay. heal. Um, maybe one that what, I don't know. Make, can you make like what anti paralysis and anti poison stuff like that too, or is it just like health potions? Um, I mean, I have an alchemist lab, so I can probably make any. Uh, it, it would help with casting and stuff like that too. You know, sure. so people don't have to waste casting spells. So. Yeah. Yeah, health potions. Boom. Yeah, so I'll just be making that. Okay, uh, which ones are you making? Uh, the medium ones? Health healing potions? Yeah. Okay. Um, after you make about two of them, you're going to need to look around for more ingredients or ask someone to look around the general area for those ingredients. During this four hour chunk. Yeah. It uh, takes about an hour to make one. Sure. Uh, I'll just go looking for it afterwards. Okay, so you can make a maximum of three if you find any more ingredients. But you can definitely make two. Okay. Okay. Choice. Uh, so do I do a search check for that? Or? Uh, search or survival. Survival is going to be a lower number that you have to hit, but if you don't have survival, you can totally do a search. Jugai, this is what you see from the area. Uh, to the south, it seems like grass begins growing, uh, and it becomes a little bit more lush. Uh, you also see that these mountains curve around and just keep going. These are imp Impressive mountains. God damn! Right. Right. He like take me with him because I have a better spot. So he comes down, picks me up, and flies back up. And I put sure. On and like, hey, I've I've offered you to fly. You're not interested. Oh yeah. I am very mercurial. He's he's warming up to it. If, if like, he wants everyone to else can fly field, now, and I'm the one with wings, <laughs> not flying. Where are your Thorlord I see? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Alright, I'm coming up there. You're useless. Cheville, what are you up to? Uh, I mean, like, I could make breakfast, or fucking, like, lunch, or... Cool. Like, I don't really have, like, a... Like, I can help. <laughs> okay, fair enough. What I'm willing to pancakes. Do. Rock requests pancakes. All right, Craig, you make uh, two moderate healing potions. Okay. Sounds good. You make two of them. Um, Grok, you see the same things. You see that the mountains are vast and deep. Uh, you also see that the, uh, the land on the other side is heavily vegetative. It's, it's overgrown. It seems popping for plants over there compared to over here where it's like very arid, windswept, yeah. kind of dusty. So the mountains act as a kind of buffer. Okay. Okay. Understood. Uh, and then down south, you do see that it starts getting a little greener. Maybe uh, rain gets caught up before the clouds hit the mountains. They kind of dump all their their stuff and then go over the mountains kind of a thing. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. But it, it does seem to get uh, shorter the distance between uh, the closer you get uh, to the south. The further down south, the, the less of a distance you're crossing. Make not breakfast, but other food. So, take fair. It with me. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, breakfast is made. Breakfast is had. Scouting is done. Scouting is had. Um, we're moving into the second part of the day, the afternoon. What are you up to? 
What's the plan? Assuming Drogos has already gone and scouted, I guess we would probably be moving south, correct? Yeah, we... I mean, it would make sense for them to catch up to us, right? Like, you guys would just eventually come down. Okay. Cool. Then the few of us that are... Well, you had all, like... In camp, we'll just... Yeah, wait up until you're all done with that day's thing, and then progress to the next turn. Oh, okay, so they're all caught up. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, well then, chill. Then let's start moving towards the grasslands. Or whatever. Following the edge of this water. Cool. Whoever is leading the way, give me a survival check. I will keep an eye out. And whoever is keeping an eye out, give me a spot or a listen, whichever you prefer. So I'll roll a survival. I'll lead the way. I'm leading, right? Yeah. Oh, do it up. Leading, yeah. Yeah. Bonus, right? like. it's, it's a survival, you said? Yes. Let me double check my bonus. <laughs> it's already better than mine, so do the do. Depending on his mm -hmm. bonus. What'd you say? I'm curious what his bonus is, because perhaps Fia should lead instead. It's hard to tell. You know that he's very confident in his um his navigation skills. Fia is a little bit more just confident in doing what she wants to do. Yeah, he seems like he's got confidence backed by backed by previous experience. Do you guys see that? <laughs> is that a net twenty? Yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, nice kitchen. Uh, yeah, you're super confident. We're just gonna follow the coastline until we get tired. Seems easy enough, and you're nailing it. Hell yeah. Um, person who's keeping watch, what'd you roll? 23. Okay. Um, you see a glimpse of like a tuft of white smoke up in the air uh like it's a cloud that's way too low to be a cloud and it's like f mostly dissipated but it's it's rising up it's slowly dissipating into the air as it mixes in but that's not that's not a natural formation and it's way to the south it's kind of heading over from the land over to the water as it kind of dissipates Is there, can, can I, in general with us and if I can, if there's anything that shows it in the distance, can I tell which way the wind is blowing? Uh, sure, give me a survival. Twelve? Um, yeah, the wind's blowing very gradually, it's not very aggressive, um, it seems to be blowing south and then turning west. Uh, kind of looking looking at some of the grasses up ahead of you. Seems to be like a lot of things are blowing over the bay. Okay, so that, that smoke cloud makes sense. Uh, yeah, it is blowing with the wind. Okay, uh, I'm just going to share that with everybody. Strange clouds ahead. Keep an eye out for, uh, I don't know, campfire? Or maybe there are people ahead. We'll see. Got all right. Um, you guys get to about here. Um, trees. First time you've seen trees in a long time, and you come up to a river. Uh, trees are surrounding the river. Uh, it's like very sparse woods coming up to this point. Can anybody else see Marty's stream? No. Nope. No. It says it's paused. Same. Yeah. Oh, very strange. That's why I reloaded in. Let me try again. How's that? To me. Awesome. Yep, you come up to uh, a river. A river uh, cutting in from from the shore. Um, it's very rocky shore. It's not a sandy beach by any means. It's kind of a harsh, a harsh line between land and water. Uh, the river is about 20 feet, 30 feet across. It's nothing crazy. 
Um, it is starting to get dark. Oh. Do we want to cross the river first and then set up camp? Or do we just want to wait for that to be the morning's activity? Let's, let's use the spells today, no? Yeah. If, if we need spells to cross the river, right. we should use them today. Okay, and that'll give us time for our stuff to dry, too. I mean... Mm -hmm. Crossing the river? We are going to attempt to, yeah. Okay. Um, as you go across the river, uh, the deepest part is probably eight feet deep, where, like, you are fully submerged and you can touch the bottom, but you're fully submerged in the river, uh, and you would get pushed out to sea uh, if you were to stay in here. It is moving along, but it's not super deep. It's also not super duper wide. Okay. Can Craig just, like, walk through it? Uh, sure, give me a strength check as you get to the deepest. 20 feet, right? 25 ish. Okay. Wide? Yeah. Got it. I, I will be meditating. Okay. Uh, 19? Yeah, you, you walk through. It pushes you a little bit, but you just kind of like lean into the push and make your way across. Walk out the other side, kind of wave to everyone else on the other side. I am going to take my armor off with okay. assistance before I cross over. Okay. Is there a question? Is there any wood near us right now? Uh, yeah, you're in a sparse forest. Because Grok is going to try to figure out the survivalist thing, because Grok is not eight feet tall, so he will probably drown if he was to cross a heavy current, and he might too. So he's wondering if it would make sense to almost make a ferry with a rope, and if Craig has just proven they can walk along the base of the water, could they not pull a ferry along with them? That would take one or two people at a time. Sure. Uh, how do you want to set this up? So, just try to use some survival skills to make a relatively robust ferry just enough that like you know like uh, there's no rocks along the way right so it just needs to be able to have somebody to sit like one or two people sit on it while somebody pulls them along yeah so you're, That's about it. you're tying a couple you chop down a tree you tie a couple logs together to make it wide enough to sit on basically yeah throw a rope to crag he stands there like a post and you guys yeah. just kind of shuffle across well, yeah. depend if we can throw a rope that far, yes. But I was almost thinking, uh, depending on. Well, hold on. Can Jugger's breathe underwater? He's a storm lord. I don't know what they can do. It's only know. twenty. It's only twenty-five feet. It's not a very big river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, jeez. Can... In my head, I was like. No, 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 no. It's not a super big river, but it's a river, and it is moving. It's got yeah. some some push to it. So then, uh, that's my thing is still just have the ferry because if it's not that wide, it's just a safety measure. You know why take that risk? Especially sure. From somebody who's very light and would be easily carried by a heavy current. Yeah, you guys watch Grok as he's just like, oh, water trap. I know exactly what to do here. Throws a rope over to Crag. Uh, starts tying up some uh, some logs together, doing little little crossovers with some rope, tying this thing up. Sits it in the water, steps on it, makes sure it floats. Sits on it, kind of shows you guys how to get across. Um, and the rest of you guys can get across the river. Uh, Jugai, your meditation's done. You can do your reselection if you'd like. How many people are left on the initial side? Everyone, everyone can get over, including you, if you'd like. Yeah. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast... Uh, dark way. Which... <laughs> Just build a giant bridge. Yeah. Yep. Basically, a bridge made of shadow is gonna span across the river, and I'm just gonna walk across. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm then. gonna be super interested to know how he knows shadow magic, but I'll ask you. That time. You definitely should. I was gonna say, uh, you kind of get a boner from him casting that. Yeah. I mean. So far, like, this fish dude, like, forgive me, but, like, this fish dude <laughs> is, like, pretty on point with, like, my 
thinking and everything and like how they're doing stuff and we have a lot of the same spells so i keep like like what the fuck is going on over there but all right yeah i'll ask another time once we get to some relative safety <laughs> also like the only time i've ever run into someone being able to use dark way effectively as a spell and of course it's a fucking cleric who doesn't care about spell selection <laughs> How many times do you build a 200 foot bridge? <laughs> it's great time. What do you yeah. Mean? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. The bridge. The bridge starts like way back from the river, spans the river, and dumps out way forward of the river. Oh. But like. Can you imagine him like strutting along the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's he's still trotting along it. You see him like jog around to where it starts, hops up on it, like climbs up onto it, and then just like confidently struts across the whole thing and then jogs back to you guys from the other side <laughs> I'm gonna, jog, I'm gonna jog, jog on it and then when I get to them just like drop off uh, okay fair <laughs> fair 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 Fucking just mean. um it is getting dark um the clouds are increasing uh the potential for rain is high do up some shelter of some sort. Um, or, you know, I can. Who's doing it? A tiny hut, and then give me a roll. Survival. And then I'm also gonna nat twenty, baby. So twenty four. Awesome. Yep, you find a great spot for it. And I'm going to. Hmm. I want to use stone shape to. Like, before I do, like, once I find the spot, stone shape to, like, raise a platform a bit, essentially. Okay. If that's possible. Sure. Just so, like, where, in case it is a lot of rain, mm -hmm. we are safely above water level. Good plan. How, uh, how high is the shelf from the ground? Um, I'm trying to think, probably only, like, two feet higher. Okay. I don't, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Big tall I step. Spell description. I, I'd guess somewhere around there. Like, okay. It's not that much, but enough. Totally fine. Uh, what are the rest of you up to? And if you're all going to sleep and you want to take an hour long watch, give me a spot or a listen, whichever you're most confident in. And we're switching glasses again, right? Of course. Yeah, I'll yep. do that. Yeah, I'm switching glasses. Um, just, just, just so you know, those only apply in clear conditions. Is it, okay. clear? it is raining. So Grok okay. gets a twenty-five on the spot. Okay. If, okay. Yeah, so I got raining. Oh, well, I gotta listen. But... On the spot. What was that? So no advantage means I think a nine. I got a because of yeah. Your weather spell by chance. You do not have weather control yet. <laughs> that, is, that is a seventh level spell, man. I know. <laughs> that is, Ooh, I can you do that spell like bubble of calm? That like even in the rain, just it's like a little dome <coughs> where we don't get affected by weather. So you that, still can't that's, get past it, but you stay dry. Who rolled the lowest? That's essentially what the tent is. Like what the hut is. But you like, can do it cooler. <laughs> Who rolled the lowest? Have some adventurous spirit. Uh, Jesus. Jigai rolled a nine. Who rolled the lowest? Any yeah, I think it was Jigai. Okay, Jigai, can you roll me two d6 and keep track of which one's first and which one's second? Sure. This is also known as a d66. So if I ask you to roll a 66, yes. No, nope. so it I is two d six, but keep track of the order. Fifteen. All right. Um, you guys wake up in the morning. Cockadoodle do. The rain has gone by. Uh, it's very damp inside of the tent. Um, but it seems that the flash flood had gone underneath past your guys' campsite. Next morning is upon you. Good to know. Uh, breakfast is broken out. Uh, is anyone hunting, fishing, gathering, looking for water? 
I will go fishing. We can do why all those things. Is this on day six, I believe? I, yes, it is day six. Yeah, I'll go hunting. I'll go gathering. Okay. I'll go gathering. Um, whoever wants to roll for the gathering, roll a survival and you have advantage because someone's helping. Is it still survival for hunting? 20. Yes. Unnatural. Dirty 20. Oh, yeah. You could, uh, you can find half a day's food for everyone in the party, outside nice. outside of yourself. Twenty two for I mean, I'm fine. fishing. Fishing. Uh, you can also find half a day's, or you catch about a half a day's worth of fish, uh, for everybody. So you guys are set for one more day. Uh, when you come back though. You uh, check in on your rations just out of curiosity, and they got soaked. Oh, I didn't check my I see. They got soaked in the rain. All of our rations? Yes. Damn it! <laughs> Come on, we're trying to keep the. <laughs> well, I guess I'll throw mine out. I guess. You spoiled. Right? I, I mean, you can eat them now if you want. I real soggy. Yeah. Yeah. You, try them out? Hey. you could try. Yeah, you you could just like, humi like dehumidifier them with like, I don't know, burning touch or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. You have to Constantly cook some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe throwing a little bit of a. Uh, Wind magic from uh, Jogai, and we'll be good to go. So, is this a situation where benign transposition would help? Just like suck out moisture. Not quite. Oh. If they, if the moisture was a person, totally, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, what? what? That's brutal. What? It's benign. What? <laughs> so it is the morning. Uh, the rain does leave you. Wanting uh, more? It is... <laughs> it is bright and sunny this morning. I think we should maybe just spend a day, like... Recovering. You know, like, literally gathering food. Yeah. Probably worth making the, uh, earth shelter like we, like we do every once in a while if we're gonna stay another day. Sure. And then, uh, Craig could probably make another... Little helper buddy. I mean, we could always. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. I thought uh, they already had one. I, I can help with whatever. I don't have any, like, specific needs or, or anything in, in the downtime right now, so I'll help with whatever. Yeah, I mean, needs. what kind of helper buddy do we need? Like. It'd be cool if you could make one that could help make others. <laughs> Just start a ma manufacturing process in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why not? Mass production, middle of like some Craig. Forest. Craig will have to figure out a way to transport them up mountains if you guys end up climbing. That kind of thing. How does how does he cross with them over rivers? He like, makes like a thousand little spiders. One he can hold as he walks <laughs> underneath the river, but. I mean, they don't have to breathe. They just swing. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, they're pretty small, though. So water water currents can affect them greater than crag. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. We're going to have to have What are you guys up to? Yeah. ship. That just floats, Ooh. and you oh. just carry them. What if you made a little flying buddies? What if they just flew instead? Then water is not a problem. But what would oh. they do? It'd be like drones. You could make like security oh. drones. Just no, anything comes too close, and they just start making a really loud screeching noise. Yeah, they could just like be a barrier around us, where they're just like our our uh, radar, basically. Right? Hmm. Like, sure. 
That's yeah. true. A security fence for the uh, a security perimeter, or you know, they don't even need to fly. They could just be like little screaming things, you like sure could. all right, something something's pat coming close, you know, and just makes a wailing noise for no reason. Oh my god. <laughs> Thoughts for future endeavors. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys up to? You're over the river. We are gonna hang out here for the day and start gathering resources, I think. Okay. Just to re-up our rations as best as possible. Everyone who is hunting, foraging, fishing, or finding water, let me know which one of those you're doing and give me a survival roll or a search. I'm gonna go just for the record. Grok is gonna go explore and scout. Okay. Um, give. I'm gonna go further west and see what's there. Okay. Give me a search or uh, survival. Apologies. Did you say search? Survival. Yes, sir. Twenty-three on a hunt. Mm -hmm. You find a whole ass deer. Uh, that could. Alive? That <laughs> could. That could absolutely last the party at least a couple days. Perfect. That's what we need. Fia rolls a nine on a gather. I. Uh, you find some mushrooms that look pretty good. Uh, oh. You find some berries uh, that are just like bright red and glossy. Mm -hmm. um, I was I was gonna say she found some poison like berries or something. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you you pick some things that kind of look like uh, wild chives. Um. And just gather gather some some tidbits that look kind of tasty. We're gonna have to run. Have Miku uh, check all of those. <laughs> just eat them. Yeah, yeah bear. Him first. Miku accidentally dies. <laughs> Grok, what'd you roll? Family end. Total ten. The luck runs out, man. Okay. Luck runs out. Uh, that's fine. Uh, what's everyone else up to? Um, once all the gathering, gathered things have been gathered, I'm going to cast Detect Poison on that. Just in case. Okay. None of them, none of them have been poisoned. Lovely. Now That's we don't have good. to think about it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, fl I'm gonna fly ahead to scout some more. Uh, describe that for me. Um, I am going to question a spell long strider. It like increases. Okay, sorry, land speed specifically. Nope, yep. never mind. Yep. Uh, I'm going to cast fly on myself and fly out as far as I can and like map out a path to come back on. Out then, where? Out west over the water? Uh, southwest. Southwest following the land. Okay. Following the, the shore, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, do I see anything of any interest down there? Give me a spot. Keep an eye out for that 18? smoke or whatever. Yeah, you do see another tuft. Um, different in shape, seems a bit longer. The other one was, like, a bit thicker, but you're catching, like, this one right before it, like, completely dissipates back into the air. Based on the way it's drifting, can I try to see a general direction of where it's coming from? South. South, so. southwest. Yeah. If you keep following along this, you'll probably get towards it. Okay. All right. Once, once I've flown as far as I can and then ran back, uh, that's that's all I'm really doing. Okay. I think. Tao? Uh, uh, I would just be gathering water. Um, I don't think anyone volunteered, so I will be doing that. All right, give me a survival. Oh. Craig? Can I, I got a 15. But... Uh, yeah, you gather enough water to fill whatever containers you have for what was emptied prior. Craig? Uh, can I gather things for uh, my 
alchemy uh, lab. While we're in the forest, yeah. Sure. Um, let me know what you're looking for and roll me a survival check. Or a search, um, whichever is. Specifically things for like healing potions. Sure. Okay. And a survival check? Yep. Or a search if you don't have survival. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to have to be a search. Uh, the 21. Okay. Uh, yeah, you find most of the pieces to it, um, but it's still, it's still, like, not lush like a lot of other places are here. Um, like, it's still kind of acrid, it's still, uh, like, a little dusty in the soil underneath the grasses, but it seems like a lot of rain dumps out before the clouds go over the, the mountainside. Um... So you're not finding everything, but you've got enough that you could probably make three or four of them, but you're just missing one piece of it. Sure. Anyone else? Would Alfred be able to assist her on that? He has alchemy. Uh, sure, you can have Alcred, Alfred roll a search as well. Okay. Maybe we can get that last component or whatever. Um, that's 19. No, he uh, will help you uh, gather a fourth uh, potion's worth of the other stuff, but yeah, this stuff would not be native here. This okay. is not the ecology for that last component. Sure. So I have to to make the other... Yeah. Got it. You're looking for... Uh, you have to grind up the teeth of a specific kind of predator. And it doesn't seem like you'd be able to find that anywhere around here. Elf shucks. Yep. A carnivorous predator uh, has like a specific kind of calcium in their tooth that you grind up to make the potion from. That you know of. Sure. Cool. Uh, what's everyone else up to? Anyone I haven't gotten to yet? Everyone, I think. Okay. Um, you're across the river. It is past morning. Are you continuing south? What is the plan? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We're just like following right now and helping where we can, but we don't have specific goals. Besides just, like, following and helping. Okay. Yeah, we're going to proceed, I guess, towards this... Uh... You are going to come up on mountains. Impassable mountains? No. Just kind of no, no, no. Uh, the, edge. the forests end. It starts to go up to rocky mountains. Um... Kind of tusky, similar to what you've seen before. Um, the other side of the water is getting closer and closer and closer. Um, it is less of a, you know, like huge gap where you barely saw the land on the other side of the horizon. And now it is much closer, much more visible, but it's still, you know, a vast distance across the water to get to the other side. Um, you're coming up on mountains. It seems like the, uh, the mountains that kind of stretch this whole area seem to be like arcing around and you'd have to start going up into them or going like right along the coast where maybe you have to like swim across certain parts before you get to other flat, drier parts. And we will take a quick break while you mull that over, which way you want to go. Awesome.